Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Inspired Roleplay on YouTube, uh, where we showcase our little one-shot adventures that we build together on the Valus Corpus Discord channel. Uh, today's one-shot was the Golden Rat Catchers uh, one-shot adventure, where our adventurers initially went out to go find a uh, cart full of gold that the king wanted their mercenary band to go and take for him. But very quickly the uh, adventure went awry as the cart fell through the ground in a horde of rat men tried to seize it for themselves and uh, they then kind of went on to a wacky adventure so there's a lot of laughs a lot of good times on this one and i hope you guys enjoy it i'll also add in that if you may excuse the bad audio we are working on a lot of technical difficulties as far as trying to get this thing up to speed on good quality so bear that in mind as you watch but also just enjoy the lightest footsteps you can trying to avoid twigs and brush and underbrush of the trees you take the uphill path come out to the other end of the road. You look out and see an entire group of bandits, each holding their crossbows and sort of looking about warily, whilst the one on the bottom left is currently struggling to get the cartwheel out of like this very deep hole in the ground that it got snagged in. The one sitting atop the cart, who is typically the rider or steerer of the cart, is sitting there barking orders at him. Hey, you are bloody folk! He fell into the hole! You should have said something if that was going to happen! And he's just like, said something or not, I'm the one to get out of the bloody hole, so why don't you shut the bloody hell up? Oh, better yet, come down there and help me with the- And they continue on like this for a while. <laughs> Shouting at each other while the other three are just like, holding their crossbows like, oh, yeah, Bloody hell. <laughs> 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 you know? and that's, that's, I've been lost. That is what, uh, bloody. Joshua sees. Joshua sees. As you All come right, out so... to the road, the bandits- Almost immediately, like the guy in the cart, who's kind of looking forward, the other ones were scanning kind of everywhere, in general, like looking for someone to come, because clearly they're on edge, because they just stole this cart. Um, he goes like, Oi! Oi! Over there! And whoa, 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 whoa! Chill out, dude! Chill out! I've got some I'm wine gonna, here! I gotta mute myself. You've got a problem? Let's fix this and then drink some wine, people! I'm, I'm not drunk, though. Don't worry about that. As I, like, try to stumble over, but... And my clumsiness, like, I kind of walk around and, I, like, all of a sudden, like, I drop, like, an illusory bottle that kind of, like, clashed against the, the ground with them. And then I just, like, stumble over. Ah, you, you're a wheel, man. That's not in the right place. I don't know how to fix that, though. Let me help you out, brother. As someone who's drunk a lot, Yeti is very disappointed with this. It sounds more like he's high than drunk. Hi. <laughs> Listen, man. I didn't know we were talking to a professional. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to Yeti. Um... Fireball from the guy over here. Oh, that's what I love to see. <laughs> I love to see. Roll your to hit. Oh, critical fail on a spell! This is fun. Let me open up my critical fail table for spellcasters. Oh, casters. you do that stuff. Oh, you do that stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do that stuff to you. All right, let's oh, go. Good thing I don't know you know. I'm already like. Oh, God. Critical fail on a spell. All right. Um, I have to go to a specific file for this. This is gonna be great. Let me find. Uh. It. Here we go. If he Critical dies. Spell failure chart. All right. Oh, no. My Shit. good friend. Roll me a d20 for consequences. Oh. Well, there are never consequences to my actions, except when they are. A 12. What does the 12 do? You all die. Yeah. <laughs> we all die. Somewhere. Funny, right? <laughs> You no, know, I really hope this is the wild magic table, because then it would be like a, uh, a you turn little the fireball centered on myself. <laughs> you turn it into a plotted plan. <laughs> so, do you have any family or friends? Oh, Jesus! Or is Joshua the only one? 
<laughs> you know, at the end, that, that's a very mean question to ask. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen, just, uh, just answer the question. I don't like that, I don't like the thought of that question! I have a very happy mother and father who live on a farm, and I guess you could call Joshua one of my friends, yeah. Oh, do they yes. live on a farm? And I don't want to be friends. Yet live? <laughs> Alright, so... What occurs to you as you, you ready your up, up. <laughs> you ready the spell of the fire in your hand, and as you go to cast it, it shoots back! backfiring and you fall backwards and are immediately blasted with horrific visions falling out of consciousness you see the deaths and corpses in this malefic vision of your family members piled high dead and destroyed bloodied. And you suffer from these malefic visions roll me a d4 gosh dang oh jeez I'm gonna film that uh, bad. That's either really good or really bad. <laughs> Your character is stunned for D4 rounds as he suffers from these malefic visions, and when he recovers, he will now be addicted to Moonstone. And as you guys slowly, one by one, release the rope and, like, probably assist each other as you guys uh, start to get in, you hear this shrill voice screaming up at you from somewhere. Hi! <laughs> What's the big idea? As you guys look around, uh, I'm going to say D4. That's going to be Octavian. Uh, Octavian notices a small rat by his foot, looking up at him, standing on two feet, arms at his little rat haunches. What's the big idea? You just come stomping around in my cave? And as you notice, your boot actually, when you guys were coming off of the rope and sort of making space for one another, you accidentally stepped on one of the mushrooms. It doesn't affect you in any way, but obviously this little rat is a bit upset. <laughs> you will die. Why you go up there and start stepping on your yard? Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I mistook it for a regular mushroom. Uh... Here, and they just handed like a gold piece. Will this suffice for any damages? <laughs> a gold piece. Uh, Alright. He looks at it and like, What am I gonna do with that? It's not gonna bring my mushroom back. I was growing those for days. I'm the best mushroom grower here in the whole tunnel. And I love to nibble on little things. Maybe you have some food. Come on then, if you're feeling so generous. Uh, I start looking at my bag and I'm going through like my, um, my supplies and I'm like, what type of food do I, do we get with our rations in the Adventurers Guild? Rations mainly comprise of just like, uh, like trail mixes, nuts, bars, dried meats, stuff like that. Like basic things as you could imagine that are meant to last. So, uh, you like nuts? <laughs> you like jazz. <laughs> he goes. Oh, smoked jerky? Can I have some of that? I'm afraid that's mm. just my body. <laughs> <laughs> and disgusting, the uh, hideous alcohol. <laughs> Come on. He puts his little hands up. Give me some of that jerky. I just, I just like, kind of like take out the jerky and I just kind of like hover and like hold it above him and just kind of like gently put it on, on his hands. Well, paws, technically. All right, he reaches his little hands up and grabs the jerky roughly the size of him. It's like regular and human hands, but it's quite large in a small rat's. And he just looks it over and goes, Oh, my. That is beautiful. And he starts nibbling away at it. Mm. This is definitely worth more than my mushroom. I have to pay it back a little bit. I don't think we're quite even. He moves over and uh, skitters off into like his little barrel home and tucks away the beef jerky. He then comes crawling back out with a small reddish liquid inside of a vial. He's just like dragging it by the cork and brings it up to you. Here. 
I don't have a use for this. Tastes like crud anyways. Maybe you got it. You can have it. And he hands you a lesser healing potion. Ooh. Y'all have fun. And as you guys move on. Trudging down the hall towards the door. Oh, no, there was no fun. Uh, um, With fanfare and revelry, as you see this strange pseudo carnival esque room carved out into this cavernous area, and you can see strange goings on. There is a myriad of creatures within this room performing acts of circuitry and revelry. Little, well, I shouldn't say little, giant rats on all fours <laughs> with little hats <laughs> attached to them <laughs> are moving about, juggling balls. And one of them's playing like a little uh, tambourine and smacking it together. A very large brown bear moves about on a unicycle. <laughs> this place gets weirder and weirder, I swear. <laughs> he, uh, he moves about on a unicycle, just going like this with his big bear paws in the air. A very large hat, also tied off to like his 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 body. And you guys hear this shrill voice come out. Ho ho! Looky loo! There's new people coming to my carnival of fun. Games. And this rat comes flipping, trapezing off of these ropes and entanglements on the ceiling above, 20 to 30 feet up in the air. And then, whoosh, after like many great acro acrobatic feats, he lands upon the ground and looks at all of you and does a curt little bow. He says, Welcome! I am Nikki. Nikki Displeen. Okay. So, side question, will there be obvious clues within the story as to whether or not it's a truth or a lie? Almost like a false riddle type scenario. No tricks, no tricks at all. Okay. No tricks whatsoever. You must simply determine whether the story I tell is truthful. Can I insight check him? <laughs> you guys may. But no one can help, Yeti. As, uh, Someone could, like, flick like, something. Well, like, even if you guys could tell from an inside check, you can't, like, butt in and be like, he's lying. You know? Alright, I'm so ready with this insight. Do you want to tell the story? Okay. Sorry, that was not in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I have a grand tale. A very grand tale. You must decide whether or not I tell the truth or lie, my friend. This will be oh so fun. He points to the bear. Bogo. Bogo has been a friend of mine for a very long time. When I first met Bogo, he was originally a dog. He was a farmer's dog. Somewhere deep out into the lands of the sun and shine, I felt him in a dream, in a vision. I came out to find Bobo. I gathered the seeds, the seeds of a mighty magical beanstalk. I cut them. It took many days to obtain such valuable items. And then I sought out him, Bobo the dog. As per my vision, I fed him the seeds, and now you see the wondrous creature before you, Bogo, the unicycling bear, who understands every word I speak. Tell me, is this tale true, or is it false? What's the DC? <laughs> What's the DC? <laughs> 16. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm so ready. <sighs> Come on, inside. No! <laughs> I can't tell anything, so this is like a 50 50. <laughs> I cannot okay. do 
any advice as to whether you could lean one way or the other as to whether, whether it's truth or lie? Um, everyone watching right now, uh... <laughs> pray what, for Nicole? me! What do you think it is? <laughs> pray for me! <laughs> Alright. The story... is true. The, the grin. <laughs> Man, we all suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bogo was always a bear. Are you crazy? <laughs> He's just a very well trained bear. Well, I guess I'm on arms <laughs> for the rest of the bloody game. <laughs> I will say your character can suspect that this could be a dangerous gamble he's about to make. Because the rat, all of his powers and apparently his patron, revolve around these games. Well, after you've known a man for a long time, after you've known a Fabian has known Joshua for a long time, at a certain point, you're willing to take the risks. And he's hoping for the life of him. They don't notice it's an illusion magic. But, well, that's the whole gamble now, isn't it? That was cute. <laughs> that was really cute. <laughs> Right. Cute, but is it cute enough to sway the DM to not catch it? <laughs> I will let fate decide. I will not make a clear-cut decision. So you hide the marble, just as he did. Kind of like out of sight. Bring your hands about. All right, adventurer. What sword do you, or what hand do you use to fight with? I don't fight. Hmm. Fair enough. What hand do you write with? I can't write. <laughs> right. What is your dominant hand? <laughs> what do you do things with? Which hand do you pick your nose with? <laughs> or perhaps I'm above. a man of stately... <laughs> I do not pick noses. Well, is it important? Just guess. I like to know my my opponent. Let me enjoy this for a moment. Ooh, of course, of course. <laughs> all right. All I enjoy right. doing things with my left hand. That's a lie. I won't belabor the point any longer. <laughs> I choose your right hand. Alas, the right hand is empty, and the left hand, with the illusory marble, is full. It was a fun game, as I closed my hands again and put them in my pockets. But, I think it's time you give me what you owe. Roll me a d20. Flat d20. And... <laughs> I like the plan. So if you get a critical fail, it's the only way this could go wrong. Please, for the love of everything oh, holy. Swear to God. Oh, boys, I've played the end before. Holy. I have for natural one. <laughs> I guess not. <Okay. laughs> you succeed, and you gain the life of uh, your friend.